end this month empty handed. I repeat, you are not ending this month empty handed. You will end this month with a tangible blessing. And that's why I want you to lift up your voice and say, Lord, I thank you for the good work you started in my life this month. It will end with a blessing. Lift up your voice and appreciate God. I thank you. Whatever you start must finish well. Whatever you start must finish well. Whatever you start must finish well. Lift up your voice. Appreciate God. God is not a man that he should lie. Neroba shakotelia. Mendobro sekote. Leko kakata kata. Erusha brago dige brega degeze. Lebro shakando yelebro shikataya. Lerende boro shikote bredi la baragadaya. Rezo zaka kaka 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 kaka. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. After this prayer tonight, whatever want to stop your blessing from coming to pass, they will all be stopped. Amen. I say they will all be stopped Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Put those hands together for the Lord and please take your seat. Ezekiel, I mean, Ezekiel chapter 11. Every good thing God wants to bring to pass in your life. will always be contended against and will be contested by hell. That's why we'll be sharing very briefly, stop them before they stop you. Did you hear me well? Moreover, Ezekiel 11, the spirit lifted me up and brought me up to the east gate of the lost house, which looked eastward, and behold, at the door of the gate, five and twenty men, among whom I saw Jezaniah, the son of Azu, and Peletiah, the son of Benaiah, princes of the people. Then said he unto me, Son of man, these are the men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in this city, which say it is not near, let us build houses. This city is the cauldron, and we be the flesh. Therefore prophesy against them. Prophesy, O son of man. And the spirit of the Lord fell upon me and said unto me, Speak, thus said the Lord. Thus have ye said, O house of Israel, for I know the things that come into your mind, every one of them. Look at verse 6 now. Ye have multiplied your slain in this city, and ye have filled the street thereof with the slain. Verse 7. Therefore thou said the Lord, your slain whom ye have laid in the midst of it, they are the flesh, and this city is the cauldron. But I will bring you forth out of the midst of it. Verse 8. You have feared the sword. I will bring a sword upon you, said the Lord God. Verse 9. And I will bring you out of the midst thereof and deliver thee into the hands of strangers and will execute judgment against you. You shall fall by the sword. I will judge you in the borders of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord. Verse 11 now. 
This city shall not be your cordon, neither shall ye be the flesh in the midst thereof, but I will judge you in the borders of Israel. Verse 12, And ye shall know that I am the Lord, for ye have not walked in my statue, neither executed my judgment, but have done after the manner of the hidden that are round about you. Verse 13, and it came to pass. Something is coming to pass this night. And it came to pass when I prophesied that Peletiah, the son of Beniah, died. Then fell I upon my face and cried with a loud voice and said, Ah, Lord, will thou make a full end of the remnant of Israel? Say with me, no. There is a Peletiah and there is a Beniah against every good plan marked out for every individual. But hear me, we are not to watch God's plan come to pass. We are here to press them into fulfillment. God's plan for me and you does not come to pass by, by mere wishes. You must press them. Prophecy is always to bless. For you. But to the agents of the devil that have arranged themselves to stop the plan of God from coming to pass, prophecy is to be against. He said prophesy against. Now hear me. We have ignorantly and carelessly don't know when to prophesy against. In Mark chapter 6, scripture says, and Jesus gave them oil against. Many have been wondering all the good, good prophecies that have been coming. Why is it that none is reaching me? You hear me? You need to war with the prophecy. Paul said, for a great door and effectual is open unto us, but there are many adversaries. There are forces that have vowed to keep some people barren. There are forces that have vowed to keep you singlehood. There are forces that have vowed to keep some people poor, but it is your choice. Since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take it by force. But hear me, anyone that has vowed a vow against you, they will not rise this night. I said they will go down this night. The ultimate agenda of the wicked, just like Jesus described in John chapter 10, is to kill, to kill. To steal, to kill, and to what? Destroy. For every door that must open, you may need a battle to enter it. For a great door, an effectual. If it is a great door, watch out, there are adversaries. For a great door, an effectual is open unto us, but there are many adversaries. Many, many. You don't watch God's plan. You fight them to fulfillment. You fight them. If there are plans to stop you, you too you should make plans to stop them. If there are plans to keep you on the same spot, you must make plans to go forward. Whatever is happening around you now is not your condition. And if it is not your condition, know it fully well that God has been waiting for you to take positive, drastic action. Positive, drastic action. Any move you fail to make keeps you on the same spot. There are breakthroughs you may not smell until you enter the line of judgment. Why? 
just like we had, Peletiah was there, Benaiah was there, princes of the people. They only mentioned two. They didn't call the other 23. There were 25 of them. Make, what does he mean to make mischief? To make mischief is to spoil. To make mischief is to blackmail. To make mischief is to paint in another color. To make mischief is to disfigure. To make mischief is just to make sure that uh, something just scatter. Mischief makers. As it is in the physical, that is how it is also in the spiritual. In the spiritual, we call them manipulations. Manipulating events. Altering events. Disfiguring things. But you don't watch them. You must fight them. You must fight them. Hear me? I had a deep meditation this afternoon on this subject matter. Our words are too fiery, but we have not been taking advantage of them. I give you a mouth and a wisdom which your adversary will not be able to resist nor gainsay. It's not my word like karma and like fire. You have not engaged this word. You are just thinking it's the environment stopping you. No, it is not the environment. You have not pressed enough with your own word. Because your word is what works for you. If you don't release it, nothing happens. There are too many things out to stop us. Too many things, too many things. Too many things out to stop us. God said in his word, I have given him to the hands he on the Amorite, king of his born. And he's like, he said, begin to contend with him in battle and possess it. He will, he will want to stop you from possessing it. Having faith in God is one. Taking advantage of the violence of faith is another. Scripture says, above all, taking the shield of faith whereby you shall be able tell your neighbor you shall be able somebody is already calculating so now so now so uh, october don't uh, september don't finish with that eh? so now just three remain nine is this still possible is there anything impossible with god is there anything impossible with god 90 days too much how many days? days? Too much. Too much. 90 days is even too much. You're already calculating. So uh, September just finished like that, eh? Just like that. Hear me? It's not late. I say it's not late. I say it's not late. Any obstacle the enemy have put on your path, they will be crushed tonight in the name of Jesus. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. So you must believe the potency of the word. Hear me? I am not speaking my word. I am connecting my faith into the word so that I can see my desires come to pass. I am not speaking my word. Which word do I have? I am speaking the word of God. The word of God. If you don't engage the word, you cannot break any barrier. Because only God's word can break the barrier. Do you have the word that can break any barrier? Which word do you have that can open the door? So when we engage in speaking words full of faith, the enemy has no choice than to give up. Because every time we speak the word, there is a personality that appears. His name is called Jehovah, the man of war. Since your enemy like trouble, give them trouble. I hear what I'm saying now. David said, I am a man of peace, but when I speak, they are for war. Since you want trouble, let me give you enough trouble. So you give your enemy enough trouble 
Enough. Enough that he cannot handle. Enough. So your mouth must not lack the word. Let me show you why your mouth must not lack the word. If you don't stop them, they will stop you. Papa said, what you don't confront, you can't conquer. And whatever you don't confront remains in your front. Psalm 81 and verse 10. I am the Lord, thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. Verse 11. But my people will not hearken to my voice. And Israel will none of me. Verse 12. There's no verse 12. So I gave them up unto their own hearts lost. And they walked in their own counsels. Look at verse 13 now. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me. And Israel had walked in my ways. Now look at verse 14. I I should soon have subdued their adversaries and turned my hand against their adversaries. I should have subdued their enemies and turned my hand. So every time you speak, God's hand go against your enemies. Every time you speak, God subdue them. Your enemies in trouble. I want to assure you, you will carry that blessing. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Say, open your mouth wide, and I will feel it. If they had long hacking unto me, I should have soon subdued their enemies and torn my hand against my the adversaries. So God's hand will be coming against every adversary of your blessings. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. When you are surrounded by too many enemies, you only have one chance. Say with me, one chance. And that chance is to be speaking prophetically. You prophesy against them. So what God called him to do was to be prophesying against Peletiah, against Beniah, against everyone in their camp. Was prophesying. Every day was prophesying. Whoever has vowed that I will remain in hardship. Oh God, I prophesy vengeance upon their head. Whoever has vowed that things will not turn around for me, let the earth open up and swallow them. You are prophesying. If you say nothing, God has nothing to confirm. So, you must be declaring. Are you enjoying hardship? No, answer me. Are you enjoying suffering? What you don't want, you don't watch. If you don't want want it, stop watching it. If you don't want it, stop watching it. Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 1, the day that King Uzziah died, Isaiah saw the Lord. Hear me? That King Uzziah must die. If you are saying amen, say better amen. There are too many things out to stop you. The enemy can organize disappointments. Oh, you don't know? He can organize disappointments. He can turn the heart of your helpers to disfavor you instead of favoring you. It's all plan of the wicked. It's all plan of the wicked. What the scripture say concerning you, he daily load us with benefits, and yet your, your pocket is dry, your storehouse is dry, bank accounts dry. Where is the loading? Where is the loading? Where is the loading? Some people, they will enter a relationship, it won't last three months, it has scattered. That's not God's plan for you. You have tolerated it enough. Say with me, enough is enough. What you don't stop, will stop you. Anything you don't confront, <laughs> it will not only remain in your front, it will, it will, it will conquer you. So it is time, hear me? It's time to believe God. That blessing is possible. That breakthrough is possible. I said that blessing is possible. 
God has done it for countless number of persons. You must carry your own. If you are saying amen, say better amen. The enemy, Jesus prayed for Peter. Is it Luke chapter 22? He said, Simon Peter, Satan has desire to sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that thy faith faileth not. Satan has desire to stop you. Satan has desire to keep you on the floor. But I have prayed for you that thy faith faileth not. That thy faith faileth not. You hear me? Any blessing that must come to pass in your life, your mouth must trigger it. Scripture says, hidden in the tongue is the power of life and death. He said, them that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Stop watching it. You might have failed one million times, but there is a breakthrough waiting for you. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Failure is only an experience. It's not your identity. It's a sign that the written must still come. It's time to rise up and tell yourself, I have bear this enough. How long will the enemy stop you? You can be likened unto the man by the pool of Bethesda that st stayed there for good 38 years. Will thou be made whole? That was the question Jesus asked. And he said, I had no man. You hear me? Man is not the reason why you are where you are. You are the reason why you are where you are. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Man is not the reason. I think I've shared my story. I've shared plenty of my story. But I remember... In the course of the week, I remembered when, when we just newly came back from youth service, my dad took me to see one of our townsmen who was, um, who was the person that brought the, uh, the Japanese that uh, built LMA Petrochemical. So by all standard, the man had the opportunity to give me a place. But you know what? We got there at 7 a.m. in the morning and left there around 8 p.m. in the night. I sat in the car. When my father came out, I said, never you carry me to see this man again. Please, I beg you. He said, why? I said, forget it. I don't think there is anything for me here. It is not normal. I sat in the car from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. But I assure you, whether you are alive or not, I must be greater than this man. Write it down. Tell everybody, I, your son, Tony Amefule, must be greater than this man. The man has expired. As I'm talking with you now, he has expired. And I'm just about to start. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? If, if I had uh, be, been angry that, uh, if not for this man, I, I would like, hey, you know hear I me? Mean? No man is the reason why you are where you are. You have one God. And scripture says, if God be for us. I remember another one that said that he will not help me. He said he will not help me. Immediately I had it. I avoided him like a plague. The way they avoid Satan. I avoided him like what? A plague. I finished everything that I wanted to do. You know, I said, eh. I see that Tony was making such an arrangement, he didn't tell us. I said, reply to him, I had, when he said, he will never help me. And so, I don't need his help. Full stop. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From where comes my help? My help cometh from God. My help cometh from God. I'm still looking up, oh. I say I'm still looking up. I say I'm still looking up. And thank God, God warned me early. He warned me early. Put not your trust in man. Of what account is he? <laughs> I began to look for where it is in the Bible. I didn't know it's in the Bible, oh. Either Isaiah chapter 1 or chapter 2, around, the, around verse 11 or verse 12. Of what account is he? So I said, I sat th that day. That was that uh, the particular day I buried my trust in man. If you mess up today, I can never look your side again. I know you are finished. Finish. Don't allow anybody stop you. 
The God that made the plan for you is enough to take you there. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? But any devil that have networked with another devil, get ready, all of them will crash one by one. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Any devil that have made up their mind to stop you, they cannot survive what is coming out from your mouth. If you are saying amen, say better amen. But where God has appointed for you, I bet you, you must get there. I said you must get there. Do you know the words of your mouth, they are enough to make the challenges around your life to aspire. Surely, scripture says, surely there is an end. And thy expectation shall not, say with me, shall not, shall not be cut off. Surely there is an end. And you decide the end. You decide the end of that matter. You decide the end of that challenge. You decide the end of that negative circumstance by declaring the word of God. Because every time you speak God's word, God appears. God appears. God appears. Every time you speak God's word, God appears. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So let God appear in your matter, and let your matter matter. When God appears in your matter, your matter will matter. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. God cannot appear in your matter, and your matter refuses to matter. When God appears in your matter, your matter must matter. When God appears in your matter, whatever is surrounding your matter will refuse to remain on the same spot. That's why scripture said the Lord of hosts has proposed. And who shall this annul? His hand is stretched out. And who shall turn it, out, turn it back? Hear me? There is a purpose in your life that cannot be disannulled. Oh, you don't know? Oh, you don't know? Okay, let me tell you, it's in the Bible. My counsel shall stand and I will do all. How many? How many? Get ready, you will handle that testimony. I say, get ready, you will carry that breakthrough. I say, get ready, that blessing will come to pass in your life. My counsel shall stand and I will do all of my good pleasure. 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 Of my good pleasure. That notorious occultic in the village is not in the dream. I told him in the physical. I am raised for your going down. I was coming, he was running to the bush. I said, I am raised for your going down. You can do enchantment for others, but get ready. I will pursue you physical and spiritual. He's still running into the bush today. So every day I owe him a prophecy. I must keep prophesying over his head. That's the one that I told you two weeks ago that the wife appeared in the dream that uh, I should help raise the remaining children. If you know this thing, hear me, you will end wickedness for your family. You will end the, the satanic oppression around your life. You have gone and gone through enough torture. Stop crying because of your family problem. God raised you so that you can end it. I said God raised you so that you can end it. What you don't want, you don't watch. If you don't want it, begin to speak against it. Every problem has a power base. Every problem has a control point. It is time to use your mouth and dry the base of your enemies. Dry their base. You dry their base to the point that they don't have any take-up points. It is time to engage God's word and see God at work in your issues. You have been watching and waiting. It is time to act. You say you are waiting. God too is saying, I'm waiting on you. When you are ready to act, I'm ready to move. Rise up to your feet. It's time to stop that delay. You have, you have suffered enough delay. It's time to break the cycle of disappointment. It's time to crash the manipulation against the open door. It's time to tell yourself, door must open. Jesus himself said, 
I am the one that opens and no man can close. And I know every good father cannot use the key against his own son. Can you use your key against your son? I am the one that opens it and no man can close. And any door I close, no man can open. I know Jesus is holding the key in my favor. He's holding the key in your favor. I want to assure you, things will work well in your life. I said things will work well in your life. Things will work well in your family. Anything called hardship or disappointment or delay you are going through, today is the last day. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. Your future only has one thing. It can only be better. I said it can only be better. I said it can only be better. It can only be better. Your enemy cannot decide your end. You decide where your end will be. You say, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of good and not of evil. To give you a future, a hope, and an expected end. No which is permitted to decide where you end. Only God decides where you end. And if you say you are still going far, God will take you far. We're going to pray that line of prayer in the next 10 minutes. I want, to, I want you to pray with potency and vibration. Why? Faithful is he that called thee who also will do it. That thing you were expecting, God will do it. Yeah. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Every force of wickedness arranged to stop my appointed blessings and breakthrough by the blood of Jesus, I command their destruction. Every force of wickedness arranged to stop my appoint your blessings and breakthrough by the blood of Jesus I command their destruction every force of wickedness arranged to stop my appointed blessings and breakthrough by the blood of Jesus I command their destruction every force of wickedness force of witchcraft force of marine manipulation Arrange to stop my blessings and breakthrough by the blood of Jesus. I command their destruction. Nayandolosh, Eru Sekuta, Likato Prekikete, Liandero Shadaro Tekete, Likakare Leboro Shanande. Every force of wickedness. Arrange to stop my appointed blessings and breakthrough. By the blood of Jesus, I command their destruction. By the blood of Jesus, I command their destruction. Land Ayarosh, Eroberosh, Kukatelia. Every force of wickedness arranged to stop my appointed blessings and breakthrough. By the blood of Jesus, I command their destruction. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he will repent. Whatever he says, he will do. Leandoro Shekutalia. Iledede Regodo Shakote Kulia. Mendo Pre Ketonaro. Lavayande Resoso. Endo Breketolia Ba. Lia Topeli Garosha. Lambe Bereketelio. Every force of wickedness arrange to stop my appointed blessings and breakthrough by the blood of Jesus. I command their destruction by the blood of Jesus. I command their destruction. Every force of wickedness, every manipulation of the devil, every manipulation.
manipulation of marine powers manipulations of, uh, of the wicked enchantments of evil authors to stop my appointed blessings and breakthrough by the blood of Jesus I command their destruction by the blood of Jesus I command their destruction by the blood of Jesus I decree right now let their manipulation fail let their enchantments scatter Leyande Koto and Dadare Kotelete Jesusane Elopreketolia Redonosusule Katayata Iladono Gobrekete Suse Layada Radosoto Every force of wickedness arranged to stop my appointed blessings and breakthrough by the blood of Jesus. I command their destruction. Every force of wickedness arranged to stop the enlargement of this church and the fulfillment of the prophetic word. By the blood of Jesus, I command their destruction. Liso Netoba, Leando Peretelia, Recleco, La Paria, Dosanado, Ella Breca Tesisa, Jacques Pebre, Elanga, Daga, Daga, Raga, Daga, Yakata, Ero Belega, Daga, Daga, Raga, Daga, Jesus Aleo, Pella Rota, Leando, In the Kelete, Le Suze, Eto Predio, Lambreato, In the Atelare, Lega, Raga, Daga, Lega, Raga, Daga, Raga, Daga, Raga, 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 Jesus Alendia and the Breleto Jacoperani Aleta. I will see the plan of God come to pass in my life. I will see the plan of God established in my destiny. I will see the plan of God established for my wife. I will see the plan of God established for my children. Recatolobo, Shannon Benate, any devil, any force of witchcraft, occultic agents. On assignment against me, against my wife, against my children, against this church, I engage the vengeance of the blood. I engage the arrows of the blood against you. I command be smitten. I command be smitten. I command be smitten in the name of Jesus. Be smitten with destruction. Jesus say, Enderoro. Jesus say, Enderodo. Jesus say. In the road, lagadaga yagadaga ragadaga yagadaga da. Elo bregade rogo logo dogo 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 do. I engage the blood of Jesus against every satanic manipulation. I engage the blood of Jesus against every oppression of the wicked. La porta kute in zesena katayata. Blood of Jesus, arise for me. Blood of Jesus, arise for me. Silence every force of wickedness. Silence every arrangement of the devil. Silence every arrangement of witchcraft. La payano, shekona gadaga ragadaga ya. Lesu se breketeli ya gadaga gadaga. La berege dege 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 dege. Jesus, I 
command vengeance upon you by the blood of Jesus. I command vengeance upon you by the blood of Jesus. I command vengeance upon you by the blood of Jesus. I command vengeance upon you. Rekotobre, Ilano, Jekolane, Leberendo, Zianga Dagada, Ero Bebe Rikotolia, Jacope Rakatale Yagade, Randelebo Shakada. Let their plan fail in the name of Jesus. Arrows of the blood of Jesus strike in the camp of my enemies. Arrows of the blood of Jesus strike in the camp of my enemies. That agent of the devil that has found a vow to stop me by the vengeance of the blood. I command them smitten with destruction. Lady Akata, Eriondo, Jacontete, Ella Brenda Suta, Leconda Rate Atela, Lagoro Shakoteria. Thank you, my father. Thank you, Jesus. As this mystery come upon you, whoever marks you out for evil, wherever they marked you out for that evil plan, by the mystery of the blood and the oil, their arrow backfires now. If you are saying amen, say better amen. The evil personality that has vowed not to let you go. Mark my word. The God of Oyedepo will lay them to rest. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Whoever said you will remain that way. That you will not see the blessing you desire. I invoke the vengeance of the God of the Liberation Commission against them. The enchantment they have fired against you backfire against their head. Say amen like a believer. Whatever they have done against you in the realm of the spirits, I decree as this mystery come upon you now, that evil plan scatters in the name of Jesus. Say amen like a believer. Whoever will dare call your name before the covens again, the hand of the God of Oireko kill them. Say amen like a believer. Anyone that has vowed that you will not see good, the God of Oireko smite them with vengeance. Say amen like a believer. The God of Oireko smite them with vengeance. Whoever vowed that that plan, good plan, will not come to pass concerning you. I decree, let them be smitten with destruction. Let them enter disaster. Say amen like a believer. Let their plans fail. The evil they have targeted against you, let it go against them one by one. Say amen like a believer. You will not see shame. You will not know disgrace. The plan of your enemies will not come to pass. If you are saying the message, better amen. The hand of God spoiled the plan they have put in place for you. If you are saying the message, better amen. Wherever they are calling your name for evil, whoever is the sponsor and the caller, let them answer the evil call. Let them answer the evil call. I decree for you, you will not see shame. I say you will not see shame. You will not see shame. You will not end where your enemy wants you to end. Say amen like a believer. What they vowed you will not carry. As long as the God of Oedek will leave it. Before this year is over, that blessing will enter your heart. That breakthrough will enter your hand. That open door will enter your hand. That blessing will enter your hand. That promotion will enter your hand. That land will enter your hand. That car will enter your hand. Your wedding ring will enter your hand. 
Say amen like a believer. Anyone that have covenanted with covens, not south, east, and west, wherever they are located, I decree from this altar tonight, let the vengeance of the blood strike them. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Any door that has been shut against you, by the authority of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command those doors, open in your favor in the name of Jesus. I command those doors, open in your favor in the name of Jesus. I'm saying it with authority. I command those doors, open in your favor in the name of Jesus. Say amen like a believer. Any witch that fly because of you this night, let them have accidents in the air. Any witch that fly because of you this night, let them go and hug transformer. Any witch that fly because of you tonight, let them go and hang on high tension wire. Say amen like a believer. It shall be well with you. That attack is over. I say that attack is over. The source of that attack is destroyed.